Instagram. His outfit is out of this world this morning, as you can see, Chet. I love this astronaut get up. Now tell us, why are you so dressed up for us this oh, morning? Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me here. So this week I'll be out at all eight elementary schools uh, dressed in my astronaut uniform, <laughs> encouraging kids to blast off to summer reading. Um, it's a program that we really are pushing right now, the summer reading program. Now, Read 100, this is really fun. Chet and I actually got asked to come to Bozeman High School. They said, we want you to hype up Read 100. And we yeah. said, well, what's this all about? They said, we've got to get the kids really encouraged over the summer because you kind of have a certain mark that you want them to hit by third grade. So tell us the, the logic behind all of this. So our school board set a goal to have um, uh, 90 percent of our third graders reading by third grade in the year 2025. Mm. Right now we have about 75 percent, so we have some work to do. Uh, third grade reading is critically important because it really sets kids up for success later on when they're trying to read social studies and science curriculum later on in high school. So we know that third grade reading is critically important, but we also found out that kids really lose a lot of um, progress over the summer. It's easy to do that, right? You're so busy with all the other activities. Maybe you're going to camp. So you said, hey, by, by reading 100, and it could be, you know, a little light book exactly. or you know, whatever. But <laughs> yeah. now you're making it easier by having more access to different libraries. So tell us about this. Yes, we really wanted to make sure kids had access to get reading materials throughout the summer. Obviously, the public library is a great venue, but a lot of our students live pretty far away from there. Uh, the public library also offers the bookmobile, which has been wonderful. Um, but we're going to open up three of our libraries on the west side of town at Emily, um, Metal Arc, and Highlight this summer uh, during the week so kids can get access to, to free books. I think that's such an important thing. So as community members, that's one thing I was asking you. I said, how can, how can we help these kids? And you said, spread the word. We're yeah. going to have the west side libraries open for them yeah. to have that access, which is so critical. Yeah, we're not only have the libraries open, but also just encourage kids to read 100 books. We're going to be talking to kids about keeping track of the number of books they read. We'll recognize them in the fall if they reach 100. Uh, but just spreading the word, if you know a kindergarten, first or second grader, read 100 books this summer. That's great. And, and show lead by example as well. Yes, exactly. Dr. Rob Watson, we are so sad that you're going to be leaving us, but we're excited for your big move to Missoula and Thank you. all the work that you've done for us and blasting off <laughs> into your Reading 100 program. So yes. thank you for stopping in this morning. Thank you. And thank you for being such a wonderful human being. <laughs> we just love this guy. We do have to take a quick break. Matt's forecast is up next. Stay right here. It's your Tuesday edition of Montana This Morning.